Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here. So everyone is always asking me what kind of rules I have on my eyes, Luna. So I decided just to dedicate this entire video today just to specifically to my eyes, Lunas. Now I actually have three that I like to run. Some that I'll only use in certain characters and certain game modes and others that are just really great all around. So we're going to just get into this right now starting with this eyes, Luna here. Now this one has last resort as well as luck in the chamber, however I don't really like this one that much, it's actually my least favorite hand cannon out of all three that I've decided to keep. It's just something about it that doesn't seem to do as much damage or pack as much punch as the other two that I have, and I think it has to do with the rifled barrel perk. Now for my second Luna we have Icarus as well as Outlaw, now this is another amazing roll because when using a hand cannon you're usually going for headshots, and with rifled barrel the reload time it does drop quite a bit, so having Outlaw on this Luna does definitely help a lot. I tend to run this Luna more on my Hunter and my Warlock as I just tend to be in the air a lot more with those characters and on the Hunter it's very easy just to hop around and get a lot of easy headshots because you have these perks on here. So this is definitely the Luna I like to run on my Hunter but I don't usually use this one when I'm on my Titan or even sometimes when I'm playing Trials. Instead I'll just use this in 6v6s and occasionally I'll bring it out in Trials but only on my Hunter. Now finally for my third Luna, this is the one that you guys have probably all been waiting for. This is the one I use more than pretty much any other gun in the game lately ever since I got it. And this is the Luna with Rangefinder as well as Hidden Hand. Now unfortunately there aren't any reload perks on this one so it's a little difficult but sometimes I just run the gauntlets instead to make up for it. Now the Rangefinder and Hidden Hand perks on this make this gun pretty unstoppable. Now I'd like to say that this is the best roll that you can get, but I have seen a roll with Rangefinder Luck in the Chamber that I have not tested out for myself, so that one could easily be just as good or maybe even a little better, but based on all the Lunas that I've gotten, this is definitely my favorite one so far. So we're going to hop into the Crucible and I'm going to show you guys what this Rangefinder Hidden Hand Luna can do. Now if you guys are interested in getting a Luna for yourselves, you just need to run any 6v6 game mode and you can also complete the new hand cannon bounties that are available every couple of weeks from the Crucible Quartermaster and that will give you a chance at getting a hand cannon drop. So with all that out of the way, we're going to hop into the Crucible now and I'm going to show you just what this hand cannon can do when these two perks are stacked together. Now I'm not going to really talk too much about the other two because like I said before, they're just not as good as this rangefinder hidden hand. There's just something about having both of those perks stacked together that just make this gun pretty unstoppable, and it's way better than the other Lunas that I've gotten just due to the range alone. Ever since that range nerf came along, Rangefinder has almost become necessary on most hand cannons. Having Rangefinder on this hand cannon definitely does make things a lot easier because you don't really need to get as close to people as you would usually need to without it. Now, when you stack Hidden Hand on top of that, you'll end up getting a lot of precision hits that don't really make any sense. Like, there's plenty of times where people have their backs turned to me, or I shoot somebody in the chest, but it'll still count as a precision hit, so that is extremely helpful when using this hand cannon. You'll end up getting a lot more damage out over the t course of time, and you'll have a lot better chances of getting a 3-shot kill, because all you really need to do is just get that one headshot in, and then you're free to hit two body shots with the Luna in order to clean up the kill. Now, because of the fact that Hidden Hand basically counts most chest shots as headshots, you can see how this would actually help you out in a lot of gunfights when people don't have that perk. Also, if you see a Warlock running a Ram, or there's some Max Armor Titan running around, then it's a lot easier to get the two headshots out because of that hidden hand perk, and that's why I choose to use this hand cannon over pretty much any other gun in the game at the moment. So, after running this a couple days, I've just been going on ridiculous killstreaks in 6v6 game modes. I've also been using this in Trials here and there, but for the most part, 6v6 is where it's at. I've been getting ridiculous killstreaks, like 10 killstreaks almost every game that I use this, occasionally getting 15 and 20 killstreaks, even getting a Phantom Metal. Now, for sure, this is definitely my favorite weapon to use now, and I like to use it on the Hunter more than any other class, just specifically because of Shade Step, as well as the Tracker perks that are available on here. Just make using this hand cannon very fun, and when you stack a sniper on top of it, it's very easy just to get a very quick body shot with your sniper, and then switch to your Luna, and just clean them up really fast with one shot. So, unless you're playing like Combined Arms, this gun is really great on just about every single map in the game. The only thing that you have to worry about is keeping your distance from people. You don't want to get too close to people where like they're just going to sidearm you, but at the same time, you don't want to get too far away from you to the point where your gun's not going to reach them. So, choke, just keep that in mind whenever you're running this hand cannon. You don't want to just try to snipe somebody out with it. It's not going to work, and you're most likely going to get sprayed down by a pulse rifle or somebody's Mita. So overall, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and enjoyed some of these highlight clips that I got over the past few weeks. If you'd like me to review any other weapons or just give you some highlights on any other guns that I use in the Crucible, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make some sort of video about that. Other than that guys, hopefully you did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.